Chris, first of all, uh, obviously everyone's talking about Nick Nat's mark. Uh, did you happen to see it out in the ground, and what did you what did you make of it? Yeah, um, well, sorry, mate. Yeah, caught a glimpse of it, um, and then saw a couple of replays. It was alright. Right, right. <laughs> Where so, were you on the ground? Yeah. Um, I was probably in the middle somewhere. Um, pretty good view. Yeah, I would have been, would have liked to be underneath it. Shui had a real good view, I think. So um, yeah, it was pretty nice. Event. Nice for him to take a mark like that. A lot of people have, and more probably in the east, have been criticising for a lack of marks. It it does show that he can take some marks and live up to his potential. Yeah, I think, I think it's good. I go up there and take pretty mark a year, whatever it is. But then he goes back and kicks the goal as well. So um, yeah, really important play for us. And um, you know, he got got went towards getting us the win. Definitely. Is this going to be like a with the team as soon as it happens? Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's good to see, and you know, but you, you kind of move on. Next contest, um, pretty close after that, is a centre bounce, so you, you can't think about it too much. The goal was more important than the mark, I suppose, from a team perspective. Yeah, definitely. You know, we, we're kicking a lot of points, and um, and we're kicking some points from in close, and then he goes and nails one from 45. I think that's um, really, yeah, really important for us. Real team performance yesterday. Is that how you'd sum it up? Uh, just played fantastic footy. Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, we, we, we feel like we're building towards everything. We've definitely improved um, on where we were last year, and we keep improving every week. Um, and yeah, it, we, it's built on team team football. And um, yeah, at the moment, it's it's really working for us. I mean, we're going to have um, times where we we stuff up or we don't do the best. But um, at the moment, everything seems to be working, and hopefully, we can keep improving. Your own fault, Chris. Yeah, have you assessed your I um, ain't got it right. Um, playing my role, I, I feel pretty well. So as long as I can keep doing that, and we, um, and everyone else keeps playing their roles, hopefully it goes a long way to helping us, um, you know, keep getting some wins. The mix of the midfield has been very impressive. Everyone's sharing the load. It seems uh, is that is that one of the great positives that's come through this year? Um, yeah, I suppose. Uh, I think I feel like the whole ground, everywhere, um, blokes are just stepping up and playing their role, and, and it's it's getting it getting it done. When it's not about individual performance for us, it's just um, about yeah, playing team footy and um, and continually improving. You had 20 and a quarter against Gold Coast. You had 15 and a quarter yesterday. Are you finding that you're hitting purple patches during games? Um, yeah, I, I suppose everyone goes through it at some stage. It's just the ball sort of bounces your way, and um, yeah, that happens every now and then. And then other times, you can't get near it. So um, you take the good with the bad. Uh, this week, North Melbourne, they won't be with a coach this week. It, it, is that a hard thing to judge? Brad Scott's uh, got a back injury so he's okay. having some surgery so they won't have a coach. Uh, All right. How do you feel? Oh they'll, they'll probably got 20 other coaches like we do. <laughs> there was some some I'm sure will be sitting there. So um, it wouldn't affect their game or do you think oh, that not having your main coach there on a game day would affect oh, it? I wouldn't have thought too much but um, I'm not really focused on that. We'll be focused on what we're going to do. What have you made of, did, did you get to see that, I mean, it was at the same time as your yeah. game, have you watched a replay or seen any highlights of their setback yesterday? No, I heard that they um, were up by a bit and then lost, but that's, that's as, as much as I know about it, yeah. How tough is it, has it? Uh, We've done it before, I think we've, we had one more, one win there against North, um, I remember Coxie had about 40 marks in the last quarter or something. Um, I'm sure he'll tell the boys all about how good he was that day. Um, that was a few years ago, though. So, yeah, looking forward. It's always good to go somewhere else and um, you know have a look. It's a long trip, and, and it's obviously freezing when you get there. Is, is it a, a different challenge to what a lot of the trips are? I don't know. It, it is a little bit longer, but I mean, we go to go, um, we go to Brisbane, and that's just as long. And it is a little bit, bit different weather, but um, yeah, I don't think that really has anything to do with how we're going to play or anything like that. It doesn't seem daunted at all by the travel this year. No, I don't think, you know, we get used to it. We're doing it every second week. Um, yeah, you can't let it affect you. JK's playing 150th this week. Is he, oh, good on him. How, uh, how important a player is he for this is sort of cross? Oh, he's obviously massive. Obviously, key forwards in the, in the league are um, very important. And um, he's does that played that role for us for a long time now. And he's obviously one of the better ones. So, um, yeah, he, you know, yesterday, continually, you know, one, two on one, three on one, and just makes a contest for us. And... Um, yeah, really important. How incredible is it to have a player of his size so good above his head and also at ground level? He obviously rode Nick Nat for 20 goals, goal square head. How important is it to have a guy who's a dual threat at, at, in the air and on the ground? Yeah, like, like I said, yeah, when he can, uh, with key forwards, if they can take grabs and but create a contest, that's great. But then go and do it on the floor um, just as well almost is um, yeah, really good. And we've got really good structure up there at the minute. The Fords all know exactly what they're doing. Great team footy moving, moving in and out of each other's space and yeah, it's, it's working. Is his work ethic 
um, the thing that stands out amongst probably other forwards because he just seems to run himself right into the ground. Yeah, he's a pretty fit bloke and um, re obviously really strong as well. So um, really good balance in his game and um, obviously work ethic, not just with um, Kenners, but with, with the whole team. Um, there's big emphasis on us and we, we feel we can work really hard. And when we do work really hard, um, the results tend to go our way. So hopefully we can keep doing it.